So one thing that comes up often is having a character that's either shorter or taller than the default genesis and trying to split the head and body into two separate morphs. Um, so we're going to go over how to do that here real quick. Here I have my, my new character I imported as an OBJ in this lovely, lovely, lovely lilac color. And here I have the default Genesis 8 female in her, her lovely teal color. And you can see that my character is definitely shorter than the default Genesis 8 female. And if you try and do the head and body split right now, it doesn't really work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the OBJ for my new character and I'm just going to move it up. And I want to line up the neck areas. That's pretty good right there. It doesn't have to be exact. If you want it to be exact, you can, of course, always go to the wire texture for sh wire texture shaded and compare them. And look at where the the mesh lines up, and just try and match up the the middle of the neck here. So I guess we can go a little bit more. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and put that back and now we're going to export my character's OBJ so we're going to hide Genesis take a step back so I can see what I'm doing turn off the wires so that they don't confuse me and I'm going to export that as my character 2 we'll call it I'll leave all the defaults and so now I've really just moved my, OBJ, my character OBJ up so that it lines up with Genesis 8's neck. And that's the whole trick there. You can see there's Genesis 8's neck, there's Genesis, or here's my new character, and the necks line up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Genesis 8, and I'm going to go to Morph Loader. I'm going to load in my new character 2. Whoops. Before I do that, because I want to split the head and body, I'm going to come over to my Developer Kit folder, load in the, the head and body split deformer, and we'll just load that in on the selected figure so you can see now I've got my deformer for the head and the inverse for the body of course and now I'm going to go ahead and go to little Morph Loader Pro I'm going to bring in my new character I'm going to open that up, I'm going to slap, call this the full head morph and under attenuate by we'll do the regular splitting by adding the deformer and I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Bring in my new, my new character 2, which is the one I've moved up. We'll do the full body morph this time. And we're going to attenuate by the same deformer map, only this time I'm going to change that strength, make it negative 1 instead of 1, which will basically do the inverse and give me the body. So we let that run. And now you can see I've got a perfectly good head morph for my character and a perfectly good full body morph for my character. The catch is that the full body morph, you'll notice, does bring the feet up off the ground. If I switch, whoops, if I switch into just front view so that you can see the front, you can see she's way up off the ground. And we don't want her way off the ground. So what we do to get around that, um, as I do is a two-step two process here. I'm going to take and I'm going to take the default genesis shape because she's not quite on the ground. I'm going to move her to the floor and then I'm going to take the value that it moved it here, the Y trans. I'm going to take that value, I'm going to control C to copy it and then I'm going to go dial in my morph and I'm going to drop her to the ground and then I'm going to come back here to C and you can see it's adjusted the Y trans again and I'm going to go ahead and add that so we go plus, paste, and we got to back up and take away the negative. That's basically correcting for the difference. Genesis 8 by default is not actually on the ground um, because her legs are, are spread out a little bit. If she were standing straight, she'd be on the ground, but she's not quite on the ground. And so what I'm doing here is I'm adding back in that difference just to get my character's feet in the same spot Genesis 8's feet are in. But you hit the button, it does the math. Now this number here, we don't want the Y translate actually being on the base figure, like you see here, it's on the default gen or the one on the base Genesis 8, and when that's not where.